Happy New Year! Yeah, 2013. Happy New Year! What's up? So for the new year, I'm going to be going to the gym right now. Yeah. Anyway, since I'm in Hawaii, I thought that I would talk to you guys about some Hawaii jargon. So I thought that I would share a few of the things I can think of. Most of them are like so natural though. I don't even think it's any different. Well, I guess the first thing that we say is the kind. The kind is like a really big one. The kind, it means pretty much like that thing. You usually say it when you can't think of like what you're talking about. You go, you know, the kind. The kind. It's not only a brand of backpacks, then there's things that um, branch off from that, such as fast kind, which means hurry up. Like, hurry up, fast kind, like do it fast. But what we say a lot is not, as like, that usually means like, no way. When someone tells you something, you're like, not. Oh, we say like stink, talking stink. That means trash talking, um, or stink eye. I don't know if you remember, if you watched Rocket Power, Tito from Rocket Power, they had an episode where he was like, stink eye, the angry, like, pissed off look at someone with squ squinted eyes. Another one is when you're done with something, you go pow, P-A-U, pow, or all pow, that means like, I'm all done, I'm all finished. So like, either when you're done eating, um, if you're at like a restaurant, they might ask you like, oh, pow, or all pow, which means are you all done? Um, even at the gym too, they're like, are you pow? They might ask you that if you're done with your weights. And those are like the only ones I can think of without like getting into actual Hawaiian pidgin, um, which is like, I guess I would call it a dialect of English <laughs> in Hawaii. But um, any of you guys from Hawaii, write in the comments below if you can think of other ones that are like incredibly common. Anyway, yeah, head off the gym now. I'm going to the gym today without any pre-workouts because I ran out of them. I'll see you at the gym. <laughs> Yeah, got my gym run in with no pre-workouts at all. I'm still feeling pretty good, so that's awesome. I have to run off now to like the grocery store to buy like a protein shake or something because I don't have anything at home. I'm at Jamba Juice right now. I used to drink a Jamba Juice like every single day, so I tried them all. <laughs> so I got my protein berry workout. Um, Jamba Juice which comes pre-boosted with whey protein. And they're like, do you want a free boost with that? And I was like, more protein? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Maybe they ain't get that dip. Like 1100 horses when I switched that gear. I just swerved on them, so I'm like, I missed that dip. Then I pressed the little button on the setback chair. I got billion dollar credit. If you got a million dollars, you can put it up and bet it. I'd just be like, hello, hello, but I never could salute them. Young money, I'd do it for the youth then. Look at that woman's backpack. <laughs> it's a turtle. Turtle, turtle! Hey, what's up? I'm back home, and I thought that I would talk a little bit about my fitness goals for 2012 and also for this year, 2013. So let me first go over what my fitness goals were at the beginning of the year and if I fulfilled them. I had three fitness goals, if you remember from an earlier video. One of my fitness goals was to gain a better posture because I always used to be slumped over like this all the time. So I think I did a pretty good job at that. Of course, there's a lot more room for improvement. My second fitness goal was to gain like more of a V-shape body, like a superhero body which I think I did a pretty good job in that too. I, was, I worked out my shoulders a lot more and my back so I could get more of that V shape. I think that I did a really good job at that. And my final goal was to work a little bit more on my legs since, well, I work on, on my legs a lot, but just nothing happened. So <laughs> that I would focus even more on my legs. So I did do a leg workout every single day. And I think there's still way more room for improvement, but I have seen results from it. So at least that's good. So I was thinking and thinking about what my fitness goals would be for 2013. And so what I'd like to do is to still work on my posture since I think there's still a lot of room for improvement on my posture. I'd also like to work on my back a little bit more and of course my legs. I'm really happy with what, what I've been able to achieve in 2012 so I'm just gonna push even harder this year. And since it's a new year you guys, let me know what your fitness goals are for 2012. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. We can all set goals and then we can check back at the end of the year and see if we accomplish them. 
Check it out, I made this calendar for my parents for Christmas. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, this is when I graduated. See all the lays? Halloween costumes, I was a dog, and my sister was, I don't know. <laughs> oh, and December, this is like night's first Christmas. Yo, what up, check out my New Year's lay, awesome. Matches my shirt. Anyway, I'm getting ready to celebrate New Year's with my family. We're gonna go to Hale Kulani to eat at House Without a Key, one of my favorite places to take new visitors to Hawaii because it's amazing. And I'm gonna take you guys with me, so I'll see you guys there. Driving down to Waikiki at the Hale Kulani. At the Hale Kulani Hotel, my favorite hotel. Check it out. The lobby, all the beautiful Christmas lights. House without a key. Check it out, live music. This place is really awesome because I used to work here. So good. If you ever have a chance, you've got to stay at Holly Kulani or at least eat here. This tree is like super famous and so beautiful. right behind. This is the dining hall. Beautiful. I love this place. This is a buffet today, so we're gonna check out the buffet. This is a buffet. Look at all the sushi and sashimi and raw fish. Pasta making station. Roast beef. Yeah. They always have a Miss Hawaii do the dance here at Hale Kulani. That's like the privileged thing that you get to be, which is pretty awesome. Look at all the desserts to choose from. Chocolate. I love this hotel, it's so beautiful. It's ranked number two for service in the United States. That's pretty good. These trees remind me of something from like Dr. Seuss. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sparkling apple cider, yes. Grabbing the stuff for New Year's, yeah. Look at all the fireworks going off. And it's also illegal, let's drive past it. Back home, even though in Hawaii you're not allowed to do fireworks because it's against the law, I guess people are still doing it this year. It's not nearly as smoky as it used to be. They used to allow you guys, everyone to do it and we would like light up so much you couldn't even see anything. Sounds like a battlefield out here. It's crazy. And every so often there's like a giant bomb that explodes that like shakes the entire house. Crazy, crazy. My dog is afraid, so we're bringing him indoors. Are you okay, Knight? You must be all afraid because of all the fireworks that are going off. Apparently, according to my sister, like he was drinking water and there was a giant bomb that went off. He like ran to us. Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Yay! We're outside listening to the fireworks go off. Well, guys, Happy New Year. Um, people. Oh my gosh, that was loud. Ooh. And fireworks are still going off. Crazy. Anyway, Happy New Year, you guys. Happy 2013. I hope 2012 was an awesome year for you as it was for me. And hope 2013 is even better. With that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Winter time in Hawaii. Let's do a spinning shot. Okay. So beautiful, so beautiful. Kite surfer. 
<laughs> what up?